everyone this is Sue from EMS Nails and Beauty World of Training Academy um, welcome back to my channel as if you've read any of the stuff on my other um, video you'll see now that I am fully affiliated with Jelly Feek but that still means I have to buy my own products so everything I still have to say and show you is everything that I think about it and everything I've bought. Just being affiliated with them does not mean that I get anything free or have to say anything nice about it. So I'm going to start with this one and this is a creme brulee. Now in some of the videos I've done it where, oh can't see, can you see that? There, creme brulee. Right, that's that one. Some of the videos I've done it where I've done one coat and then come back and done the second coat and some videos I'm doing it this way. I'm just deciding which way I want to do things. So this next one I'm doing is Sweetheart. Now this is just a little mixture of sort of odds and ends because the rest I've tried to keep in some form of colour palette. But it doesn't always work when I go and open my next pack and I go, oh, look at all those pretties. Oh, I was out of shot, sorry. And I've put a white background on just so you can try and see a little bit better. But that's not always the case with all of them, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So that was, which one was that? That was Sweetheart. I will show you all of them with the names at the end so that these are underneath this is sahara i think it is um you have to excuse me i've lost my glasses it's it's a real nuisance i've really lost my glasses and i can't can't figure out what the heck to do right so let me see if i bring that over so right let's go from there oh, that's nice not an orange, but it would, it's like a sandy colour, a sandy orange, I'm just going to call it that. Anyway, I'm not going to be telling you what these look like. This is Honey Dew Crush. Now, on one of the videos you saw me doing this, and I was, oh, you can't see what I'm doing, I was lifting it in and out, because um, the viscos viscosity of that particular gel was oh it was like one of their builder gels it was really bonkers now these are, are laying pretty good in just one coat except maybe um sweetheart sweethearts this one's just quite pale but i still like it and now i love this one this is buttercup right, let's see if i can bring buttercup in look at that look at that color just gorgeous so as you know these are all on prepped tips now I've started doing them on these ones because I was finding by the time I was doing the videos um, I was popping them for the book and then I was doing it for something else and something else I was like I've actually popped 12 colours now and this is ridiculous and I haven't even put it on a client oh I've just touched that one let me take all that colour off of that brush and smooth that back down so anyone that's new to Jelly Feek, Jelly Feek is a vegan and Hema brand that's based in the UK. Um, and these gels dry in 30 seconds. Now, their top coats, base coats, and their foil transfer are all 60 seconds. And that's all in an LED lamp. In a UV lamp, it's double the time. Oh, I like that one. What colour is that? That one is fiery brown. Is that one right? <laughs> Got a little bit of a, like a Christmassy <laughs> thing going on this one. Um, what's this one actually called? Enchanted Forest. Um, this one you'll see is actually quite 
thick. Let me bring that over. It's quite thick because it's really caked in all of that glitter. So I'd be careful putting this on and curing it on your clients. Turn it around. Um, purely because of how thick that glitter is, you want to make sure that it's um, fully cured. So maybe do, instead of 30 seconds, maybe do 45 just to make sure, but that's lovely. It didn't actually go on that thick. Quite surprised. All right, the next one, oh, another label underneath. This is hot. This one's hot chocolate. Hmm. Let's have a look. Bring it out. I haven't had hot chocolate of that colour. I've had it similar to that colour. Never had it this colour. But then again, depends how much milk you put in it. This one's hot chocolate. It is zero. Let's see what have we got next. This one is brownie. That is it so? Uh, do it on that end. Right. So this is brownie. Another nice colour. Some of these are going to do these have you seen the new ombres that people are doing that are out now um where they mix them top and bottom are all different ways and this is cacti now i've used cacti on a client's um it was part of um it wasn't just the full nail it was actually part of a design but cacti believe me is absolutely stunning and it like really really stood its own stood out on its own it didn't need to um didn't really need anything else with it so that was cacti that one so that's the green and then we had so cacti was last i've got to try and keep these in order now and then we had a brownie so i hope you can see that that's that's brownie and then we had oh, stick that on there right can you see that hot chocolate hot chocolate then we had enchanted forest which was that lovely green with all of its sparkles lots of glitters then we had a fiery brown which was that one so i'm going to do this like the the other way around you've seen me put the first coats on i'm going to do the second coats and top coat them and bring them back and they're going to be top coated in just the normal top coat not the armor top coat so that's the buttercup one absolutely lovely yellow then we had honeydew crush oh which was this one See, it looks a little bit greeny on there. It's not. It is very pale yellow. Then we had... Oh, jeez, I am so sorry. Yes, Sahara. Is the light caption that? Can you see it? Sahara. Which was that one? And it is like a, a, a sandy Sahara, I suppose. So this one, if we can get the lid back on. This one was Sweetheart. So as I say, I'm going to put the second coat on and come back and show you them all with the second coat. And that is Creme Brulee. So these have all cured now for the 30 seconds. So if I put them that way, you should be able to see them all. Um, so I'm going to go away, put the second coat on and put the top coat on. And then I'll come back and I will show you them as they are and then the pictures at the end anyway if you like what you see on the videos if you please hit the like and the bell and the subscribe button i would really really appreciate it so want to get the name of this brand out because it's absolutely fantastic so anybody that's using it already knows that anybody that's new to it the read up is in the description underneath of what Jelly Freak put out and all the contact details. So anyway, I'm going to go away. I'm going to go do the second coat and come back and do the end with the pictures. So I shall see you soon. 
So this is the top coat I'm going to be using, which is just um, the micro crystal top coat. So I do have the armor top coat, but I'm starting to use this when I do these pops because it's better on the pops than it is on the people. Because on the people, I actually on my clients, I actually do use the armor. Haven't given this one a go. I will try it on my toughest, <laughs> toughest client yet, but I'll bring your colors back in a minute. Just wanted, while I'm still curing, um, I've got my little paws on the Advanced Sculpting Gels. Now this smitten one is this here. And all I did is I sculpted the nail and then I tipped them. So I've tipped, this is the smitten, this is smitten all the way through on all of my nails. Excuse how they look, they've, they've been on for a few days now my cuticles are all dried out so on here I actually used Galaxy which is a beautiful you'll see it come up in another video that I'll be putting up soon and it's a lovely grey with a tiny fleck in it it's beautiful so I used Galaxy and then I used Asheville's and that's that grey there which is this one so these the the gels themselves are absolutely brilliant to work with so if you're used to using the acrylic gel um is different it's a little bit more runnier than acrylic gel and um, acrylic gel pretty much stays in its place because it's got acrylic that's why it's called acrylic gel this is the builder gel so it builds lovely it self levels and it stays where you want it but it will move so just wanted to show you them and show you what colors I had on my nails and back to the original plan right so these are all fully cured and they've got their top coat on them so I'm gonna start from the cactus here so this is oh sorry cacti that's cacti, which is, I love, I love that green. Does many, many things. And then once again, a brownie. Try and keep them in the center for you this time. Brownie, right. And then we go all the way down to the scent and we come back in with hot chocolate. As I say, I've lost my glasses so I can't see properly. So there's a hot chocolate one. Oh, Emerald Forest. I remembered that name. <laughs> Takes me some. Right, I didn't remember this one. A fiery brown. So that's lovely in itself. Absolutely love this colour. So pretty on that buttercup. I usually buttercup, we say I've got like a, a mild yellow colour to them. This is insane yellow. It's beautiful. And then we have Honeydew Crush. Have I got that in for you? So what, you can see that once I've popped them, they are actually virtually true to the tops on these. Which is nice. Sahara, which is this one. I do like that one. I think I might have that in the next set somewhere. Um, and then we have a Sweetheart. Now, I used Sweetheart the other day as part of the nude because she didn't want nude nude because she's got a really weird skin tone. It doesn't sort of go with the nudes. Um, and this last one's Creme Brulee. And on the bottom of Sweetheart, we actually had... Um, I will show you. This will come up in another video. This is Ibiza. Beautiful orange. So when we put it with Sweetheart and we put the orange on it, it looked stunning. That can be seen on one of my, one of my sites somewhere. So anyway, that is those for you on this video. I'll leave it that way because it seems to fit better. <laughs> So I hope you've got some information from it. Um, if so, drop a comment at the bottom. Anything you want to know, you know, post it. 
please keep the posts appropriate guys because like kids can see all these they're not aged um and i will see you in the next video bye